Yo, what is up guys? It's Verde, and I'm coming at you with a inf wait, remastered commentary. And I do pretty good in this game, but I want to get to the story. So, two nights ago, so today's Monday night, Saturday night, bro, it was such a memorable, I don't know, kind of wild, not really wild, but a really good ass night. So, start off the night, went to go play volleyball with my friends, then after the volleyball, got ready, went to go scoop the homies for the party. And I was like, hell yeah, like, this is going to be a good ass night. Like, usually, like, I always have good nights. So, it's like, you know, like, I wasn't expecting any less. So, we rolled through, and we're just like, damn, this party's whack. I was just kind of like, damn, like, I was expecting so. So, we're like, whatever. Like, we get into the car. We're like, damn, like, oh, well, just call it a night. So, we're like, we're like, as we're leaving, we get a text. We're like, yo, we got a party, like, roll through. And we're like, heck yeah. So, we show up, and there's a bunch of cool ass people there. Like, not a bunch, but, like, like it was a kind of smaller party, but it was, like, so many, like, cool people, and, like, the vibe was just really good. So, we're going to start it off. So, we didn't have it. There wasn't a beer pong table, and if anyone knows me, I really like beer pong. So, like, I was kind of bummed. I was like, dang it. Like, you no, know, like, I really wanted to run the table, and my best friend, Eliana, rolls through with cups, and she's like, you know, let's just play on the ground. We're like, what? So, we just had, like, this stretch of tile that we played and it was it was perfect you know honestly probably a lot more fun than normal beer pong we're like yes like eliana if you're watching this video you are a genius all right a genius but after that like we played for a while and <laughs> it was funny because they i had lost a game and when i lost a game i don't know there's a picture of me but I'm wearing sunglasses inside, and I usually wear normal, like, reading glasses. Not reading glasses, but glasses, because I can't see far. So I was wearing sunglasses, so my depth perception was off. And I, like, swang at a lamp, like, just because I knew it was far away. But I didn't. And I punched the lap lamp by accident. I messed up my hand. I was so, <laughs> that was so dumb on my part. But, and then everyone was just vibing together. Like, it was just a cool, like everyone just got along there wasn't really any beef and then so the night progresses you know and um we have this one homie his name is figgy and when figgy drinks dog that dude gets dumb lit like he gets crazy and like towards the end of the night dude he was trash like i had to take we took him to the, the shower we laid him in the shower so he could throw up you know and here actually i'm gonna roll a clip real quick much alcohol this is what happens when you drink alcohol, all right? You have to stay the night in this tub now, all right? Yes, you are. Don't back talk to me. But, so, that's how he was, dude. This kid was like, I had to take him home. He, I rolled through with him, and I was like, uh-uh. Like, I tried getting him in my car, and there was, he threw up on my seats, and I was like, bro, like, really? Like, there was like, he didn't even throw up on my seats, but he had throw up on his shirt, and he rubbed it all over my seats, and I was like, dang it. That was just gross. So I was just like, uh-uh, like, we're going to leave you here. You're going to sleep in the garage. So that's, <laughs> that's what he did. He slept in the garage. So we left him and my other friend named Diego at the party. And me, my best friend, Daniel, sir. I'd say Jesus is my best friend. Jesus, Serena, and Doggo left the party. And we went to McDonald's at 3 o'clock, 3.30 in the morning. And after we went to McDonald's, we went drifting in a parking lot. That shit was so much fun. Like, it was just a cool ass night. So then after that, you know, we dropped everyone off. And I had, oh, I didn't tell you guys this. But halfway through the party, I realized I have work at 5 o'clock in the morning. So it's 3.30. And I was just, and like, I didn't, I didn't say this, but yeah, I had work in two hours. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it, man. Like, this is going to be a good ass night. <laughs> So, I went to my best friend Daniel Sir's house, chilled there for a little bit, watched some eating videos, you know, just chilled with him. And then I went to work, and work was horrible. I'm pretty sure I was hallucinating at work because I was that tired. Like, I'm pretty sure there was a girl sitting next to me at work, and like, standing next to me, and I just, like, was, I don't know, dude. I was, it was weird. But, um, and my manager came in clutch. Like, I told her what had happened. She's like, yo, you can, you can go home early. <laughs> Bro. Dude, that just capped off, like, the good night. She's like, oh, you can go home early, two hours early. I was like, wow. Geo, if you're watching this video, you're the greatest person alive. But hope you guys like the commentary. Hope you guys like this little story I had for you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, please.
Peace.